Hey, what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So, pretty excited, I've been sent this brand new product by Divoom, it's another Bluetooth speaker. So this is a pre-release model, it's called the Ditu, and it's not out on the market, it's not for sale yet. I'll uh, tell you at the end of the video of where you can find out more information about the crowdfunding of this product. So I've got the prototype, and I'm gonna give you guys an unboxing and give you an overview of the capabilities of this once it does go to market. So uh, let's just get straight into it. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and open this up. So this is a very cool gift bag that they've given you. It's called the Ditu. This is a 10 watt speaker, so there's a lot of uh, power coming from just a small size. Let's have a look at how this looks. So this is pretty cool. It's like a nice little compartment. Um, more like a, uh, a safe really, um, you can even carry this with you anywhere you like. So let's go ahead and uh, open it up from the side there. Let's pull it up, let's see if there's anything underneath. So we have the uh, USB-C charging cable, anything else, so we have the uh, user guide and some awesome Divum stickers and I believe there's one thing that fell at the back, just a warranty card. So I'll chuck all this stuff in there. There you have it, take a look at that. Now this is a really cool typewriter looking uh, device here. So pretty cool, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. Also peel back the sides. And there's a peel right there at the front as well. Feels so good to do that. Right, there you have the design. So as you can see, there's a speaker at the top, gives you the 10 watt power. You have the classic Divoom TV screen look in there. You have uh, the ports on the right hand side. So this is really cool. This is the first Divoom speaker I believe that you can use without your phone. So if you put in a micro SD card, you can play music directly off of that. You also have the on off button and then the USB-C charging port. I think the previous speakers have always been micro USB, so that's a very good touch and a step in the right direction. So there is no auxiliary input, so you would have to just use Bluetooth or a micro SD card from that front. But having a device this tiny, it just is very convenient to have. And then you have the classic Divum smoothness and roundness of the screens. So this is like a very retro computer screen and it has the uh, keypads, which actually if you press them, they make that very classic sort of a call center typing typewriter kind of noises. So uh, pretty cool there. Now just to give you an overview of what these buttons are. So M is for mode. So if you want to switch what mode the speaker is on, you can do that. The arrows left and right is basically previous track, next track. You have the plus and minus there in the middle, which is the volume settings. And then to change the uh, pixel art on the screen is the uh, icon there. So this silver lever there on the right hand side is to play and pause the music. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. So that was a longer intro than the usual Divum speakers, but that sounded really cool. And it does look very compact. If you can see, it just fits into the palm of my hands. I really like the backlight on the keypad. So as you can see underneath the buttons, it does light up. So it's very easy to use in the dark as well. So as you can see, this is the standard Divum uh, pixel art that you get there with the time and the cycling of the different animations. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this via Bluetooth to my phone and then obviously give you guys an overview of the different features. Okay guys, so I have this connected to my phone now. So as with the uh, other Divum speakers, it has all of the same options because so, you use the same Divum app. So just to give you a reminder, if you haven't seen any of the previous videos, it comes with a host of different features that you can use to display onto the uh, Divum screens. So here, for example, you have the uh, sleep option where you can give yourself ambient noises when you're trying to sleep at nighttime. So if you select midnight, you'll hear like midnight noises, midsummer noises, even like a campfire. Perhaps you want thunder. So 
So tons of sleep options. You can set an alarm as well for different days using this device. You can uh, create voice messages. You can also have your own mixer as well. So if you want to create your own music, if you're into playing um, uh, decks as a DJ or anything like that, you can play around with tons of different instruments. You can switch to guitar mode as well and do a lot of things from that. So play around with that. You can chat, set your calendar, have a noise meter as well. So if you start this, this gives you the level of decibels that the speaker is picking up from the background noise. So as you can see, it's picking up my voice and it's giving me the level of decibels that my voice is currently displayed at. You can also use a countdown as a timer on this as well. So if you're maybe running uh, some uh, workshops or if you're playing games with friends or family and you want to set a timer for anything specific, you can do that here and it gives you a countdown. And obviously when the countdown finishes, it will set an alarm. You can also check the uh, weather as well. So it's very hot today. It's uh, 31 degrees Celsius. So bright and sunny outside. And then you also can go to the channel and adjust all the different colors and timing options here. So you have the options to change the lighting as well. So you can turn it on and off. Just play around with that. Multiple different options. Cloud channel, basically you, this is a shuffle button of different pixel art animations. You just hit the button there in the middle and it will go through different ones and then you can just leave it on one that you like. Visual effects, it also does uh, some really cool visualizations with the pixel art. So you can just set this and have it displayed there when you're playing your music. You can also have a visualizer. So this will bounce to the music that's playing in the background. You can also uh, make your own as well. Then you have the, the main button in the middle there, which is the uh, host and gallery of various different pixel art animations created by the community and also by Divim as well. So tons of categories here along the top that you can choose. Now, if you hit the uh, music tab at the bottom, you can play various different radio stations or you can play local audio. Or if you have a memory card inserted in there, you'll also be able to play directly from that and you can also disconnect from your phone completely. So let me go ahead and give you guys an audio sample of how powerful this is and uh, play that through my Spotify. So the lever is playing pause, so I've just pulled that and I will pull that again and it will start playing. At the same time, I will put the volume up as well. And just to give you an example of skipping the track, I'll press the right arrow as well. So as you can see, it works perfectly, very smooth, and it links with any type of music player that you want to use on your phone as well. All right guys, so that covers the highlight features of the Divim D2. So it is a 10 watt speaker, but it does come with bass enhancement and it does have a 360 degree field of sound. So the audio output can be heard from any direction of the music playback on this. So it does have Bluetooth 5.0 as well, so it's got very good range on it. It's perfect for taking with parties and maybe going on a holiday if you're traveling. It's just a perfect companion. But even if you're in the office and you want a really cool desktop item just there as a companion, then you can take this into the office and it will look really cool and it'll be the envy of all your colleagues. So for me, this is a awesome piece of uh, technology that Divim have made. And I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can uh, read more information about the uh, crowdfunding project for this. So I'll have the website link and the information there. Currently at the time of this video, it hasn't been released. So I don't have any pricing information for you guys but this is a one of a kind and it will be out soon if you guys really like it. So uh, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, do let me know. Otherwise I appreciate your time. I hope you subscribe and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.